In this session, we're going to look at setting up Dreamweaver for coding and also working in design and live view. If your interface isn't looking like this, you can always go to Windows, down to Workspace Layout, click on Default, and click on Reset Default. If you do this, it resets it all back to the basic layout. At the moment, from a previous tutorial, you might actually the folder open with your name, also the folders that we created in there. So the first thing we're going to do now is go up to File, and we're going to click on New. And when we open up new, it gives us all the different types of documents that we can create. We're going to start with a HTML, and we're going to give it a title. So put your name in here. So I'm just going to put Leon Marsden. We're going to create a HTML5 document. It's a good idea to use the current versions. And click on Create. You may start with a complete blank looking screen. It might be in the design view. It could actually also be in the live view. So your document could look like this. So the live view simulates a web page where the design view allows us to actually type in information. We can go into the code view where we can actually see the code. You can see our title's already been put in there and you know that it's HTML5 compliant. If we click on split view, you notice that we actually have our code down the bottom and the design at the top. So between the two body tags, we can put Leon Marsden. And then when we click up here, it'll appear. But some people don't like to work this way. I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm going to go up to View, and I'm going to have the split vertical. Also, I prefer to have the design view or the live view on the right-hand side, and my coding view on the left-hand side. So I need to invert that. So once again, I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to change design view on the left to make the design view on the right. And therefore, if I come up here and press enter, put www.lmarsden.com and click back over here, you can see the code being written for us. Or if I write in here, put a paragraph tag in, open tag, and then close my tag. When I click back here, you can see the text gets written for me. So this is the best view to work in, and once you're set up in this view, we can then go to File, we can then go Save As, and then we can save the file, and you notice it should open up already inside your website folder. You can already see the folders, and you can just call it Index, HTML, and press Enter. Then this will actually appear over here. So now we're ready to go and build an amazing website.